So I was watching episode 4 of Obi-Wan Kenobi the other night, a shockingly boring attempt at a covert rescue operation episode, and while in a state of semi-conscious boredom, I was jolted awake by something so absurd that even in a show filled to bursting with baffling shit, this came as a shock. <laughs> Yes, a small woman overpowering two professional soldiers by slapping one of them, then turning to the other and pulling on his armour before easily taking an unsecured blaster off one and shooting them both. This show features a cocked day worker Obi-Wan Kenobi, a Grand Inquisitor who looks like he's wearing a Halloween costume he bought on Amazon during the November sale, Flea struggling to catch a small child, and haircuts that look like something out of a Berkeley College graduation ceremony. But none of that prepared me for just how ridiculous this shit is. Everything is wrong with this. She's under serious suspicion, but isn't handcuffed. The guards are walking abreast of her so that they can't actually see what she's doing. Why not have one leading her by the arm and the other following a couple of meters behind, just in case she tries some mad shit? How does a pissy little kitty slap stun a clone soldier wearing a helmet? Why did the other guy just go down when she tugged his armor? How did... But what... <laughs> What the fuck is this? I'll tell you what the worst part of this is. Laziness. The choreography is embarrassingly and shamelessly bad. When I watch this, I imagine the on-set choreographer tapping away at his phone while calling out vague instructions to the actors. Uh, yeah, j j j just hit one guy and grab the other and then grab a blaster and shoot them both. The worst George Lucas Star Wars movie had choreography that looked like this. And Disney Star Wars choreography now looks like this. This is utterly pathetic. It's honestly a level of quality I would expect to see from a Star Wars fan movie made by a bunch of freshman film study students. And yet, if you're a woke Lucasfilm showrunner, this makes sense. Women overpowering far stronger men in Hollywood movies is now so common that woke showrunners no longer think of it as odd. If anything, it's natural. This is what you get when you have three movies fronted by Mary Sue Skywalker and when Hollywood has for years now been churning out hardcore feminist garbage in which small women easily beat the shit out of guys literally twice their size. Now, I know what woke defenders of this crap will say. Uh, actually, Tala dies in the next episode. See, she's not a Mary Sue, and Disney aren't afraid to show women losing. Racist! Right, so how does Tala die? It literally takes a full fucking squad of stormtroopers just to wound her. They feel to kill her. Oh, and look who's leading the squad. That's right, a strong, powerful, diverse woman of color. And even then, Tala still kills most of them. With each episode, this show just gets worse. It has fully confirmed for me that Disney considers Star Wars a tool of propaganda in the culture war, not a sovereign story which deserves to exist as a unique cultural property on its own. Thanks for listening, subscribe, and don't forget to find a tiny woman to easily overcome the like button.